What's up guys, Jake Hunt from Fitness Culture. Today we're gonna to be doing a back workout from our 2420 challenge program. So if you're watching this video right now and it's January, we're doing a challenge right now. It's the best deal you're gonna get all year on the Fitness Culture training app. So you can click the link in the description if you wanna check it out and sign up. But basically, we're uh, doing a challenge. It's gonna be an eight week challenge and it's gonna be based off transformation, strength gains, just goals overall. And we're gonna pick 20 winners to win $500 top three winners are gonna be able to come out here at Fitness Culture and go to our retreat. So check it out with the link in the description, but let's get into this workout. So today what we got is all back today. So the split of this challenge is gonna be push, pull, legs, day off, and then push, pull, legs, day off again. So the first three days of the, I would say week, it's not gonna be a week specifically because you're just going straight through like that. It's an eight day split and you're just going straight through. It's not just week based, but the first three days are gonna be more of a heavy emphasis. Earlier in the program, it's still gonna be a lot of time under tension and then we're gonna build you up to being heavier at the end of the program. But anyway, it's gonna be more of a strength emphasis at the beginning of the week, or the first three days, sorry. The second three days is gonna be more of a high volume pump day all throughout the training uh, program for this entire challenge. All right, so today's gonna be, uh, yesterday we did chest, today we're gonna be doing a back day. It's gonna be more, more of our strength emphasis day, but it really is gonna still be a lot of time under tension because we're gonna be doing um, some reps that typically would fall under the hypertrophy rep range, but we're going to be doing some control tempos and things like that. So the time under tension on some of the movements um, is going to be pretty significant. So let's get into it. So our first movement today is going to be just some chin-ups. So we're going to do chin-ups, but we're going to go 10, 8, 6. So we're just going to be doing three sets, but we're going to be doing a four count eccentric on this one. All right. We're going to superset that with some YTWs on the TRX and I'll show you that when we get over there and then we'll rest for about 90 seconds to two minutes. So we're not taking, especially on back day, I usually don't take a ton of rest on these ones. So. Back to back, rest about 90 seconds, two minutes, and then we'll roll through it three times. All right, so the YTWs, the biggest thing you want to focus on here, obviously, the further that you walk under the straps, the harder it's gonna be. So if it feels like it's a big struggle, just back your feet up a little bit. It's gonna be a little bit easier. But really you wanna focus on keeping your arms straight. So think about flexing your triceps. And you're gonna squeeze your shoulder blades down and back. And the first movement is gonna be a Y. The second movement is a T. And the third movement is gonna be a W. So you can either do all of one or transition to YTWs. You're gonna do five of each one. finish up the chin-ups and YTWs. The next thing we got today is gonna to be a chest supported row. So you can either do just a horizontal seated or just a 45 degree chest supported row, whatever you have in your gym. Our 45 degree one sucks, so we're gonna go with the uh, seated one today. So the tempo, the tempo for today on the row is gonna be a three, zero, one, one tempo. So that just means we're gonna go three count eccentric, not pause at all, one count up, but then squeeze for one at the top. So that's the big thing on this one today. You wanna make sure that you're not using too much weight, you're just swinging the weight up. We're gonna do a nice one count and squeeze and contraction, and then three count on the eccentric. We're gonna be supersetting this with just an incline uh, just rear delt raise. All right, so we'll go back to back again and then just rest for 90 seconds.
All right, next thing we got today, we're gonna be super sitting a wide grip lat pull down with the dumbbell pull over. So we'll show you that when you get over there. Uh, the goal today is really go nice and wide on these. Keep your elbows right to your side and get a nice squeeze at the bottom. There's no tempo on this today though. We're just gonna go natural tempo, 12, 10, eight on each of them. Rest 90 seconds in between, roll through that. So it's gonna be three total sets of each. All right, last thing we have for our back today and rear delts, obviously we've been hitting rear, del rear delts all day. We're gonna be doing a supinated grip, bent over row. So instead of traditional overhand grip, we're just gonna turn our hands to face the sky. And then we're just gonna pull straight to our waist on this one, get a nice squeeze at the top. We're gonna go 12, 10, eight here, and then just do a, a machine rear delt fly, 12, 10, eight over there. Same thing, rest 90 seconds, and then we'll just roll through it like that. We're about to do some curls. So the last two things we got today, we're gonna do some, some straight barbell curls, heavier curl movement, and then we're gonna do a drop set over by the dumbbell rack. And uh, I don't know, I guess there's this thing where you don't curl in the squat rack, but where, how I grew up is everything's done in the power rack, you know? So if you're an athlete, a lot of the times, you're just at one rack all day. So you gotta get used to curling in it. So we're gonna curl in. Done with the curls. Last thing we got today to finish off our biceps is it's gonna be a double arm Zotman curl. So we're gonna come up in a supinated grip and then pronate, control back down. So we're gonna be doing a drop set today. So we'll go 10, obviously the heaviest weight, then we'll drop weight, 10 more, drop weight, 10 more. Total of 30 reps, then we'll rest for 90 seconds. We're gonna do that three times today. All right guys, that wraps it up for our back day in the 20 for 20 program right now. So like I said in the beginning, we've got the challenge going right now. So it's 50 bucks, you get 10 weeks of programming and you get into, into our challenge. So with that, you'll be able to, well the top 20 people are gonna win $500. The top 10 win even more. The top three are gonna be able to come out to our fitness culture retreat in May. And the very top one, we're gonna cover everything for them. So we're gonna fly them out here, pay for all that. So, I mean, the top three still get everything paid for except for their flight for the top one we're gonna pay for that flight as well so we got some really cool prizes this year i think the top 10 one of the prizes is airpods so anyway you can click the link in the description if you want to check out the challenge um and one thing that i didn't mention in the beginning is i'm gonna be trying to do this challenge along with you guys um 2019 i think the only thing i accomplished was getting weaker and fatter so my goal for 2019 is just 
get my body fat down, get my weight down. I'm about 240, 245 right now. I'd like to be closer. I mean, if I was as lean as I'd like to be, I'd be closer to under 230, honestly. 230, 225 would be perfect for me right now. So that's my goals. Um, so for the 20, I'm gonna be doing the 2420 program and the way that we set it up is just based on your nutrition. So obviously I'm gonna be in a caloric deficit to reach that goal, hopefully, if I can keep my shit, shit straight. Um, and then also, I'm gonna be doing more cardio than the people in the program that are on a weight gain emphasis. So anyway, if you guys wanna check it out, click the link in the bio. I appreciate you guys watching all of our content. I really do appreciate it. Um, if you like this content, give us a like. Leave me a comment on some things that you want me to cover in the channel. And thanks for tuning in.